Average American families are paying the price as the U.S. escalates trade tensions with China. Here is a wrap-up of the facts, views, and visions of how the situation evolves and where it is heading. Earlier this month, the U.S. slapped additional tariffs on 200 billion U.S. dollars worth of Chinese imports. Meanwhile, the White House claimed repeatedly that China will pay for all of this. But is that the case? It's U.S. businesses and U.S. consumers who pay, correct? Uh, yes, to some extent. I, mean, yeah, I don't disagree with that. We uh, definitely have uh, suffered some loss from the trade problems. The International Monetary Fund said in its latest report that the burden of high tariffs on Chinese goods has been borne almost entirely by U.S. importers. A recent report by Swiss investment bank UBS also pointed out that 12,000 U.S. brick-and-mortar stores of apparels and textiles would be at risk because of possible new tariffs. Trade wars never work, and everybody ends up a loser in a trade war. But certainly the uncertainty has been really tough for businesses, particularly small businesses, to really grapple with. So, who will be affected the most by the trade war? According to the Tariff Heard the Hotland campaign run by over 150 U.S. trade organizations, the latest escalation means the trade war will only get worse and hit home for every American. On May the 20th, 173 footwear companies and retailers, including Nike and Adidas, signed an open letter to the White House, saying that American consumers will have to spend more to buy their sneakers. Well, you might be asking, how much is that going to be? Well, how about 7 billion U.S. dollars added to their bills just for shoes? Meanwhile, the New York Federal Reserve estimates that the new tariff hikes on Chinese goods will cost the typical U.S. household 831 U.S. dollars a year. And just as if that weren't enough, trade tensions with China are also hurting American farmers. The disruption and the uncertainty uh, does not help our markets and it, it certainly doesn't, uh, doesn't help our farmers. And so we're anxious to see a resolution to this negotiation and this, this process. And so what happens if we have trade disruption it further decreases production because it hurts the farmers economically. And then it hurts the farmers, then it hurts the banks, it hurts the economies. It stops the growth. Business leaders and officials are also calling for quick actions to avoid prolonged tensions. We want to see the issues, the trade issues between China and the United States get resolved. I think the process has drug out a little longer than what I would have liked to have seen. Several U.S. governors have called for a win-win trade deal to reduce uncertainty and bring cooperation back on track. In this highly interconnected world, there are no winners in the trade war. As Columbia University professor Jeffrey Sachs put it in his recent article, that a trade war with China will not solve the U.S. economic problems. Instead, only cooperation, not provocation, can produce win-win results.